when you see other drivers around you acting or reacting in anger. A. Don't make eye contact. B. Don't react with hand gestures. C. Distance yourself from the situation. D. All of these. D. All of these. When other drivers are behaving angrily, you should take action to physically and mentally distance yourself from the situation. Avoid making eye contact with them, or making body movements or gestures that could provoke them. Slow down, move over, or do whatever you safely can to put yourself out of danger. This sign means a. Pedestrians walking along the road ahead. b. Pedestrian crossing ahead. c. Pedestrians must not cross here. d. Be alert for construction workers on the road. b. Pedestrian crossing ahead. This sign indicates the presence of a pedestrian crossing. Drivers should be cautious when driving where pedestrians may be present. When faced with an oncoming car to the left and a bicyclist to the right, you should A. Pull onto the shoulder. B. Split the difference. C. Let the car pass and then pass the bike. D. Pass the bike quickly. C. Let the car pass and then pass the bike. When there is more than one potential hazard on the road, you should ensure that you only have to deal with one of them at a time. For example, when there is a bicyclist on the right that you want to pass and an oncoming car to the left, you should not try to squeeze between both at the same time. Instead, let the oncoming car pass, and then pass the bicyclist. Which of the following statements about railroad crossings is true? A. It is against the law to go around lowered gates at a crossing. B. You must stop at a railroad crossing when directed to do so by a flagger. C. Not all railroad crossings are equipped with flashing red signals and gates. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You must stop at a railroad crossing when directed to do so by a flagger, stop sign, or warning devices, such as gates or flashing lights. Not all railroad crossings are equipped with such devices. It is against the law to drive around lowered railroad crossing gates. Want to ace your DMV test? Click on the link below and get your guaranteed cheat sheet. How can you lower the risk of hydroplaning? A. Do not speed when the roads are wet. B. Use tires with proper air pressure. C. Replace tires with bad tread. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Hydroplaning happens when a vehicle glides on top of a thin layer of water between its tires and the road. Tires with low air pressure or bad tread can increase the risk of hydroplaning. Speeding also increases the risk. The most common color of warning signs is A. Red B. Yellow C. Green D. Blue B. Yellow Most warning signs are diamond-shaped and yellow with black markings. These signs warn drivers about unexpected conditions that may not be readily apparent. Which statement about speed is true? A. Driving too slowly on certain highways can be dangerous. B. Speeding can kill. C. Speeding is not dangerous if you are a skilled driver. D. Both driving too slowly on certain highways can be dangerous and speeding can kill. D. Both driving too slowly on certain highways can be dangerous and speeding can kill.
As speed increases, the chance of a fatality increases. If you are moving faster than 80 miles per hour, you have almost no chance of living through a crash. Driving more slowly than other traffic can also be dangerous because other motorists may become impatient and make dangerous moves to pass you. The best way to avoid hydroplaning is to a. Keep your tires properly maintained. b. Slow down when roads are wet or slushy. c. Watch out for standing water or puddles. d. All of the above. d. All of the above. When roads are wet, cars take a longer distance to stop and may skid on quick turns. Do not use cruise control when driving under wet or icy conditions. Reduce your speed and drive with caution. After a driver's suspended license is restored, they will be on a probationary driving period for a. 2 years. b. 1 year. c. 6 months. d. 6 weeks. a. 2 years. If a driver's operating privileges have been suspended and then restored, the driver will be in a probationary driving period for one year. During this year, a moving traffic violation will result in a scheduled license suspension. Smoking and preparing to smoke while driving. A. Do not affect driving abilities. B. Help maintain driver alertness. C. Are distracting activities. D. Are not distracting activities. C. Are distracting activities. Smoking while driving can create dangerous distractions by causing you to take your hands off the wheel and or your eyes off the road. This sign means. A. Side road. B. Low clearance. C. Merging traffic. D. Prepare to stop. A. Side road. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign tells drivers to be aware of potential traffic entering from an upcoming side road. Drivers who eat and drink while driving. A. Make no driving errors. B. Have trouble driving slowly. C. Are better drivers because they are not hungry. D. Have trouble controlling their vehicles. D. Have trouble controlling their vehicles. Choosing to eat, drink, or smoke while driving is dangerous because these actions require a driver to remove their hands from the wheel and their eyes from the road. Drivers who engage in distracting activities while driving have trouble staying in their lanes and controlling their vehicles. When driving near heavy trucks, other drivers and highway users must make allowances for a. The increased stopping distance required by large vehicles. B. The decreased stopping distance required by large vehicles. C. The decreased noise of larger vehicles. D. The increased speed of larger vehicles. A. The increased stopping distance required by large vehicles. When driving near heavy trucks, other drivers and highway users must make allowances for the increased stopping distance required by the large vehicles. Drivers of smaller vehicles should remain in locations where they can be seen by the driver of the large vehicle and where their view of traffic is not blocked by the vehicle. If you are driving in another driver's blind spot, you should a. Move forward or drop back so the other driver can see you. B. Keep a steady pace. C. Stay in the driver's blind spot. D. Honk to let them know you are there. A. 
Move forward or drop back so the other driver can see you. Do not drive in someone else's blind spot. Move forward or drop back so that the other driver can see you. It is important to slow down. A. On narrow or winding roads. B. At intersections or railroad crossings. C. When the road is wet or slippery. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. You should always slow down when driving on narrow or winding roads, near intersections, near railroad crossings, on hills, in sharp or blind curves, where there are pedestrians or driving hazards, and when the roads are wet or slippery. This sign means A. Highway changes ahead and to the right. B. Hiking trails ahead and to the right. C. Hotel ahead and to the right. D. Hospital ahead and to the right. D. Hospital ahead and to the right. This sign indicates that hospital emergency services are located to the right. When driving in traffic, it is safest to A. Fluctuate your speed to keep alert. B. Drive faster than the flow of traffic. C. Drive slower than the flow of traffic. D. Drive with the flow of traffic. D. Drive with the flow of traffic. Crashes often happen when some drivers go faster or slower than other vehicles on the road. Always try to drive with the flow of traffic, within the posted speed limit. This sign means A. Pedestrians ahead. B. End of construction zone. C. School crossing ahead. D. Flagger ahead. D. Flagger ahead. This sign indicates that there is a flagger ahead controlling traffic in a construction area. Drivers must yield to a pedestrian? A. Even if the pedestrian crosses the street carelessly. B. Only when the pedestrian is in a crosswalk. C. Only if the pedestrian is on the same side of the road as the driver. D. If the pedestrian uses a hand signal to ask oncoming drivers to stop. A. Even if the pedestrian crosses the street carelessly. Drivers must always yield to pedestrians in the street, even if they are crossing against a red light or are otherwise being careless. What does a single dashed yellow line separating traffic mean? A. Drivers may pass if it is safe to do so. B. Both lanes travel in the same direction. C. Drivers may not pass. D. Drivers may pass, even if it could be dangerous. A. Drivers may pass if it is safe to do so. Yellow lines separate traffic moving in opposite directions. A single dashed yellow line in the center of a road indicates that vehicles traveling in both directions are permitted to pass. Drivers may only begin a pass if they will not interfere with any oncoming traffic. What are the colors of signs that tell you the distance to the next exit on a highway? A. Yellow with black letters. B. Black with white letters. C. Red with white letters. D. Green with white letters. D. Green with white letters. Signs providing information about destinations are green with white letters or symbols. A bicyclist who doesn't obey traffic laws? A. Is in the right because bicyclists don't have to obey traffic laws. B. Can be ticketed. C. Will always receive a warning from law enforcement.
D. Will have their bicycle impounded. B. Can be ticketed. All bicyclists have the same rights, duties, and responsibilities as drivers of motor vehicles. Motorists and bicyclists who do not obey traffic laws can be ticketed. This sign shows one type of A. Right turn. B. Intersection. C. Lane change. D. Road curve. B. Intersection. This sign indicates that AT intersection is ahead. When passing another vehicle on a road with two lanes traveling in opposite directions, you should a. Return to the driving lane when there's enough room between you and the vehicle you passed. b. Remain in the left lane if you intend to turn left. c. Return to the right side of the roadway immediately. d. Drive in either lane. a. Return to the driving lane when there's enough room between you and the vehicle you passed. When passing another vehicle on a two-lane roadway, you must return to the right side of the roadway when there is enough room between you and the vehicle you have passed. This road sign means A. No left turn. B. No U-turns. C. No exit. D. No right turn. D. No right turn. This sign indicates that right turns are prohibited. Your brake lights tell other drivers that you A. Are making a turn. B. Have your emergency brake on. C. Are changing lanes. D. Are slowing down or stopping. An end school zone sign indicates a that the speed limit is 20 miles per hour, b the beginning of a reduced speed zone, c the increased possibility of encountering pedestrians, d the end of a reduced speed zone, d the end of a reduced speed zone. Do not exceed the school zone speed limit during indicated times. The end of a reduced speed school zone will be indicated by an end school zone regulatory sign. At a school crossing sign, you should A. Always stop, whether there's a stop sign or not. B. Watch for children and be ready to stop. C. Always sound your horn when you see children. D. Be ready to help children crossing the street. B. Watch for children and be ready to stop. You must always yield to pedestrians who are in or about to enter a crosswalk. Be alert to pedestrians when driving across intersections or turning. When involved in a collision, you should a. Move the injured to their desired location. B. Avoid moving the injured unless absolutely necessary. C. Only call emergency personnel if it seems necessary. D. Insist the injured are fine without immediate medical attention. B. Avoid moving the injured unless absolutely necessary. When involved in a collision, you should assume the worst and call emergency personnel right away. If someone is injured or killed, you should not move them unless it is absolutely necessary. Fill in the blank. Greatly increase stopping distances and severity of crashes. A. High speeds. B. Slow speeds. C. Night drives. D. Uphill inclines. A. High speeds. High speeds greatly increase stopping distances and severity of crashes. 
The faster you drive, the greater the impact or striking power of your vehicle, should you be involved in a collision. You come to an intersection with a flashing red light. You must a. Slow down and drive carefully through the intersection. b. Turn either right or left, since the road is blocked ahead. c. Stop at the intersection and wait for a flashing green light. d. Stop at the intersection, then proceed as traffic allows. d. Stop at the intersection, then proceed as traffic allows. A flashing red light means that you must come to a full stop, and then proceed when the way is clear. If you become stranded in a snowstorm, the best thing to do is to A. Get out of the car and go for help. B. Lay down in your car and go to sleep. C. Walk into the road and get the attention of other drivers. D. Stay in the car, as you are most likely to be found when you stay in your vehicle. D. Stay in the car, as you are most likely to be found when you stay in your vehicle. If you become stranded in a snowstorm, the best thing to do is stay in your car and wait for help. You are most likely to be found if you don't leave your vehicle. Additionally, it may be unsafe to walk around outside in a snowstorm. If you drive while your license is suspended and you are involved in an accident that causes injury to another person, you a. will receive a warning. b. will only be charged a fine. c. may be charged a fine, receive an extended suspension, and be sent to jail. d. will receive points against your license. c. may be charged a fine, receive an extended suspension, and be sent to jail. Driving a vehicle on a suspended license is against the law. If you operate with a suspended license, you will be required to pay a fine, be sentenced to jail for up to 45 days, and receive an extended license suspension. When approaching an accident scene, you should a. Keep your attention on your driving. b. Keep moving. c. Stop if you are involved or if emergency help has not yet arrived. D. All of the above. D. All of the above. Do not stop at an accident scene unless you are involved or emergency help has not yet arrived. Keep your attention on your driving and keep moving, watching for people who might be on or near the road. Never drive to the scene of an accident fire, or other disaster just to look. This sign means A. Bicycle crossing. B. Stop. C. Fines double in a work zone. D. Stop ahead. A. Bicycle crossing. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign alerts drivers to potential bicycle cross traffic. To avoid collisions with vehicles in your blind spots, you should A. Quickly turn your head to see if your blind spot is clear before changing lanes. B. Adjust your rearview mirrors every few minutes. C. Honk your horn right before turning or changing lanes. D. None of the above. A. Quickly turn your head to see if your blind spot is clear before changing lanes. Before turning or changing lanes, turn your head and glance over your shoulder in the direction of your move to see if your blind spot is clear. Never rely on your mirrors alone. This road sign means A. Divided highway begins. B. A steep grade is ahead. C. The overpass ahead has a low clearance. D. Two lanes of traffic moving in opposite directions are about to merge.
C. The overpass ahead has a low clearance. This sign warns that the overpass ahead has a low clearance. Do not proceed if your vehicle is taller than the height indicated in this case 13 feet 6 inches. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in suburban business districts is a. 70 miles per hour. b. 55 miles per hour. c. 40 miles per hour. d. 35 miles per hour. d. 35 miles per hour. Unless otherwise posted, the speed limit in suburban business districts is 35 miles per hour. If a different speed limit is posted, you should follow that speed limit. This sign means A. Sharp turn ahead, slow down. B. Work crew ahead. C. Side road. D. Playground ahead. A. Sharp turn ahead, slow down. Warning signs prepare drivers for upcoming road conditions and hazards and are usually yellow with black markings. This sign warns drivers that there is an upcoming sharp turn and that they should lower their speed accordingly. When turning left, drivers must yield the right of way to a. Other drivers who are already in the intersection. b. Oncoming traffic. C. Pedestrians who are already in the intersection. D. All of the above. When you hear the siren or see the flashing lights of an approaching emergency vehicle, you must A. Slow down until it passes you. B. Drive to the right side of the road and stop. C. Motion for the emergency vehicle to pass you. D. Merge into the right lane and continue driving. B. Drive to the right side of the road and stop. Yield the right of way to any approaching emergency vehicle that is using its flashing lights or siren, regardless of its direction of travel. You must immediately drive to the right side of the road and stop until the emergency vehicle has passed. If you are within an intersection, pass through the intersection before coming to a stop on the right side of the road. What might happen when alcohol is combined with another drug? A. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be increased. B. Nothing will happen. C. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be reduced. D. The effects of only the alcohol may be reduced. A. The effects of the alcohol and the drug may both be increased. Consuming both alcohol and another drug may enhance the effects of both. For example, taking one drink when you are also using a cold remedy could affect you as if you have had several drinks. You notice a vehicle defect which may affect the safe operation of your vehicle. You should a. Correct the defect as soon as possible. b. Correct the defect when you can afford it. C. Drive the vehicle at slower speeds. D. Drive normally. A. Correct the defect as soon as possible. Any defect that may affect the safe operation of a vehicle should be corrected as soon as possible. Defects should be corrected before the vehicle is driven. Snow and ice on a vehicle should be removed from A. The vehicle's windows B. The vehicle's hood C. The top of the vehicle D. All of the above D. All of the above State law requires motorists to remove all snow and ice from their vehicle before driving it. Fines may apply to drivers who do not follow this law. Your ability to stop is affected by A. Signal lights. 
b other cars on the road c the time of day d the condition of the road d the condition of the road your ability to stop is greatly affected by the condition of the road you need to reduce your speed when road conditions are poor in order to maintain control of your vehicle. You will be at risk if you are driving too quickly on roads that are slippery and you need to stop. If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is traveling in the area where you are driving, you should A. Speed up to avoid the emergency vehicle. B. Stop your vehicle immediately and prevent them from passing. C. Make every effort to give the emergency vehicle a clear path of travel. D. Signal to the emergency vehicle when it is clear for them to pass you. C. Make every effort to give the emergency vehicle a clear path of travel. If an emergency vehicle with flashing lights is traveling in the area where you are driving, you must make every effort to give them a clear path of travel. If it is safe to do so, pull your vehicle to the side of the road to give the emergency vehicle an open pathway. This sign means A. Emergency vehicles ahead. B. Uncontrolled intersection ahead. C. Four-way stop ahead. D. Traffic signal ahead. D. Traffic signal ahead. This sign warns that a traffic signal is ahead. When sharing the road with a truck, it is important to remember that trucks generally a. Require longer distances to stop than smaller vehicles do. B. Require less time to pass on a downgrade than smaller vehicles do. C. Require a smaller turning radius than smaller vehicles do. D. Require less time to pass on an incline than smaller vehicles do. A. Require longer distances to stop than smaller vehicles do. Because of their size, trucks need longer distances to stop than smaller vehicles do. This sign means A. Stop. B. No U-turn. C. Yield. D. Do not enter. D. Do not enter. This sign is placed at the beginning of one-way streets and ramps to indicate that you must not continue driving in your current direction. When approaching a traffic signal displaying a flashing yellow arrow, drivers A. Should merge into a lane in the direction of the arrow. B. Should come to a complete stop. C. May turn left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. D. Have the right of way and may expect oncoming traffic to stop for them. C. May turn left after yielding to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. A flashing yellow arrow indicates that left turns are allowed in the direction of the arrow. However, the oncoming traffic has a green light and you must yield to oncoming traffic and pedestrians. <laughs>